What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1407, Top Travelers, Mark is easy. Let's get into it. So we have two tables, one called users, one called rides. Users gives you information about a certain user, namely ID and their name, while rides gives you information about which distance these users travel. So we have an ID in there, user ID and distance. Our task is to write an SQL query to report the distance traveled by each user. We should return the result table ordered by travel distance in descending order and if two or more users travel the same distance, we should order them by the name in ascending order. Query result format should be the following. It would be the user's name and the travel distance. Once again, ordered by travel distance and if that is the same, then by name. Let's get into coming up with a solution. Okay, so let's see how we approach this problem. Looking at the output, we want name in there and traveled distance. Now we have user ID and distance in right, so we could calculate the distance traveled by each user, but we wouldn't have their name in there. So we need to turn users and get their name from that users table. So we, we know we need to join users and rides, we need to use both tables, and then we want to calculate the travel distance by user ID or by their name. In case of name, it could be that name comes up twice and they have different user IDs. So maybe let's use user ID here. Anyways, let's get into coding that up. So let's start off by selecting user ID and name and then calculate the travel distance. Our task is to report the distance traveled by each user. And if we take a look at the input table, we have several entries for each user as one entry in the rights table is one right the user has taken and we have the distance in there. So we want to use sum to sum up all rows in there for each user ID. So let's do that. So if we use sum on distance and call that travel distance, we should get that value, but we also need to remember to group by some fields. So let's just take care of selecting from users and rights. So we're gonna join rights on the ID, the user ID, and we need to make sure we use uh, the right columns here. So in users we have ID which is the user's ID. But in rides, we have an ID for the ride and then a column called user ID, which is the user ID, of course. So we're gonna join on rides.user ID, and for users, the column is just called ID. And then, as I said, don't forget to group by user ID in this case. So, once again, if we group by name, we could have the case of names being in there twice and then we calculate the travel distance but include all Alex's for that calculation and we yeah, want to differentiate them by user ID to allow them to have the same name. So let's see what that gives us. It's still wrong but we have Alice in there, Bob in there, Alex, Lee, Jonathan, Elvis. So maybe you can already see what I'm hinting at. Let's turn on the difference here. So we're not suppo uh, supposed to show user ID in here. So that's why all of these are wrong. But let's just remove user ID for now because we should just output name and the group by should still work. We're just not showing it. And now if we're turning on difference, we have the wrong sorting, but we also find out that Donald is in the expected output but not in our output since Donald has a value of zero. So Donald didn't have any rights in the rights table so Donald didn't travel any distance so that value should be null and in order well, that value should be zero. In order to get that value we need to use a left join instead of a regular join to include all names or all users in the users table regardless of whether they had right in the rights table. So let's just switch 
that join to a left join, left join meaning we keep everything in the left table of the join being users, so users is left from the join keyword and writes is on the right and that way we should have Donald showing up there as well. Now let's run that and we need to take care of something as well because we have an output of null and not zero for Donald. So if we don't find a match or a matching ride for a user, it's just gonna propagate null values. And we actually want to make that zero. So we're gonna use a function to take care of that. So coalesce in MySQL is the function that I usually use. There are alternatives for other SQL dialects and that's just going to replace null values with in this case zero values. You can choose what you want to fill it with. You could have like a string called unknown or na in there. So this is going to replace that null value with a zero and if we run that again we should now have Donald and zero in there which is great. Now I think all that's left to do is to take care of that ordering and that is always what I like to do last since yeah, it's just rearranging the output table but the output should already contain everything we need for the expected output. So let's read through what we're supposed to do. Return the result table ordered by travel distance in descending order. So let's say we order by 2 which is the second column we select. DESE for descending and then the second condition is if two more users travel the same distance we should order them by their name in ascending order. So we're going to choose one for the first column we could also write out name and say ASC for ascending and that should order that in case of a tie ascending by name. So let's run that, that is accepted. Let's submit that as well and there's an, an accepted solution. Let's try changing these two and ones to the actual name of the fields. And if we run that, that is also accepted. Probably this version is preferred because it allows you to understand what's happening in there and if I were to add user ID in here then two would become or if I order by two second column then user ID would be second column all of a sudden and not travel distance so this is probably preferred and I'm gonna leave you with that if you want to study some more check out my playlist on lead code database problems here on this channel I have one playlist for easy medium and hard problems so you can choose which videos to watch based on difficulty and also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in your recommended or sub feed to remind you to keep studying. And that's been it for today. See you all next time. Bye.